we have successfully imported vehicles and created seasons. Now, it's possible to set up our rates. Let's start by clicking on the setup button. We can see that there are already a few rates created. It is important to know that you'll be adding rates per vehicle class, as well as per season. In this case, the rates have already been added for the low season, and for all different vehicle classes. But if we click on the hamburger icon on the top right hand side, then on fill missing, the system is going to show us that we still have to add rates for the high season, and for all of these vehicle classes. The rate structure can be set up based on hours, days, weeks, and months. The only one that is mandatory for the system is the daily rate. The others are optional. So we might say that, for this high season, the economic manual will cost $25 per day. The automatic might be $30 per day. The SUV might be $45. And the full size might be $50 per day. Then, the weekly rates and monthly rates, for which you can also choose to apply different rates according to your weekly or monthly package deals. We will just set some weekly rates for now. After saving it, the system will show us all the rates that we have, and if we click fill missing now, there are not any rates missing. We can now click on any rates here to update their information. So for example, if we want to update the SUV rate, we can open it, update the rates accordingly, and save it. We have seen the basic structure for rates, but HQ also provides decreasing rate structures. When using the decreasing rate structure, we wouldn't be using the daily, weekly, and monthly structure. Instead, we would choose the option of decreasing rate based on interval, and the structure will change to reflect it. We can now add custom rates based on daily intervals. For example, from 1 to 3 days, we will apply a rate of $35 per day. Then, from 4 to 7, the rate will be slightly cheaper at $32 per day. And then from 7 to 14 days, we might say it will be $30 per day. We might also want to say that from 15 to any other rental period, the rate will be $25. For that, we just need to leave the end interval blank. This rate structure allows the system to adapt to your business's specific needs, considering the rates of your vehicle classes. Let's save it, and we will be able to see that the decreasing rate structure has been applied to the high season of the full-size vehicle class. It will not be using the structure that we have set in the beginning, because now the decreasing rate structure is set to yes.